，二十四节铃鼓 ，twenty four festive drums, music and movement, imagining China in enacting cultural solidarity among the Chinese diaspora in Malaysia. The 二十四节铃鼓 or twenty four festive drums is a Chinese drum ensemble founded by the Chinese of Malaysia in 1988. It consists of twenty-four lion drums or shigu that are struck by twenty-four drummers to spectacular and dynamic choreography in synchronization with the rhythmic patterns struck on the shigu. Jelingku can be referred to under Hobsbawm and Ranger's concept of the invention of traditions, traditions which appear to be old, but are often quite recent in origins and sometimes invented. The concept of the ensemble is based on the twenty-four jiechi, literally translated as jie joints, qi breaths. The founders of the Ersesi Jelingku Ensemble are Tan Chai Puan and the late Tan Hui Song. The basics of the Ersesi Jelingku drumming patterns derive from the lion dance rhythm. Many new rhythmic patterns and choreography have since grown out from the creations of many young Chinese Malaysian drummers. Before I proceed, acknowledgements are very important. This presentation is based on my master's thesis at University Science Malaysia from 1998 to 2001. First and foremost, I would like to thank my parents who supported my young, crazy, spirited energy then, traveling from Penang to Kuala Lumpur to Johor for field work. Secondly. There are two very important people that I learned so much about the Ersesi Jelingku from. They are Bernard Goh Sunsiung, currently the artistic director of Hands Percussion Malaysia. I followed Bernard on a motorbike to observe him teach the Ersesi Jelingku at Zhonghua Independent High School in Kuala Lumpur, and sometimes in Seremban. I practically. Stalked him for days, nights, weeks, years on information about the drums. Even、uh, for this presentation, the drummer is from Hands Percussion Malaysia. I would also like to thank Kwa Bing Chai, who allowed me to learn the Twenty Four Jeling Gu under his instruction in Penang. Basically, I couldn't really follow the high speed drumming and the in synchronization with the movements. But I'm glad he kind of like kept a one eye closed on my performance, and of course I must not forget Professor Dr. Tan Sui Bing, my thesis supervisor. Last but not least, I'm grateful to be able to interview and get to know the family of the late Tan Hui Song, and I also had the opportunity to talk to Mr. Tan Chai Puan a few times. The current population of Chinese in Malaysia is 22.4 percent of a total of 32.7 million, based on the Department of Statistics of Malaysia in 2021. They comprise of five major dialect groups: Hokkien, Cantonese, Teochew, Hainanese, and Hakka. I guess this is the right time to establish my positionality to the research. I'm a fourth-generation-born Chinese of Malaysia. I speak Cantonese at home, 
a little Mandarin. I read, write, speak English and Malay well. I'm kind of Chinese, but not quite Chinese enough. I guess that's what made me interested in learning about the Asasijie Ling Gu, probably to find out how more Chinese I could be. Does that sound right? The Chinese Performing Arts in Malaysia went through a revival in the 1970s and 1980s. This revival was sparked by the racial riots that occurred between the Chinese and Malays on May 13, 1969. This event spurred the government to establish the New Economic Policy, or NEP, that favoured the Bumiputras, or Sons of the Soil, in Malaysia. The NEP led to the creation of the National Cultural Policy, NCP, which suggested that the national culture had to consist of three elements. One, the national culture must be based on the indigenous or Malay culture. Two, suitable elements from other cultures may be accepted as part of the national culture. Three, Islam is an important component in the molding of the national culture. Although the NCP was practiced for a brief period, it was never established as a policy due to the resistance from the people. However, this concept evoked feelings of fear, instability, and threat among the Chinese of the newly independent country then. The Chinese became more aware of the importance of status, rights, and identity in Malaysia. The Chinese began searching for their identity amidst a country of different ethnicity, religion, and culture. Ethnic identity, cultural consciousness, and community solidarity became integral to the survival of the Chinese immigrants in, of a newly independent country. The Chinese of Malaysia felt threatened and sought to unify and strengthen the identity by evoking a sense of belonging to a distant homeland in China. The 24 Jieling Ku was founded in response to the 1970s National Cultural Policy concept, which aimed towards the construction of a homogenized national identity. The Chinese in Malaysia connected the ties between their ancestral origins to their home in the diaspora through the concept of the 24 GAT that are manifested in the music and movements of this drum ensemble. Macares states that in the contemporary age, Many Chinese have both integrated themselves into the society, yet maintain their Chinese identity to a certain extent. The degree and extent to which both processes happen are complex, intriguing, and address the issues of cultural identity. The performing arts is a medium that manifests the depth, degree, and diverse ways the Chinese overseas have incorporated some forms of chinese into their identity. The different dynamics of negotiation between social, cultural, and political issues inadvertently shapes the performing arts and addresses the issues of cultural identity. In its early pioneering years, the music and movement of the Ersese Jieling Gu's performance were limited to the concepts of the natural phenomenon, weather, and festivals in China. The Chinese in Malaysia constructed their identity in the Malaysian diaspora by imagining and romanticizing this phenomenon based on literary and audio resources from China. The music and choreography of the Ersese Jieling Gu refers to the natural phenomenon, weather, and festivals in China that occur during the 24 Jiechi in the Chinese agricultural calendar or solar calendar. Each Jiechi lasts for 15 days and is marked by changes in the weather, which influences the agricultural activities, such as sowing, weeding, irrigating, transplanting, cutting, 
threshing, harvesting, and winnowing. The Chinese almanac or Tongshu literally translates the meaning of jie qi as joints and breaths. Jie is translated as joints, and these joints refer to the endless cycle of seasons which are bonded or linked together by the 24 jie qi. Qi means breath in Chinese and refers to the never-ending cyclical process of changes in the seasons as the perpetual source of life for men, nature, and animals. The 24 jie qi can also be referred to as 24 sub-seasons or seasonal periods. A performance of the Ezzi Jie Ling Fu consists of a combination of skillful drumming synchronized with swift, gallant movements of the hands, legs and body. Hand, leg and body movements are choreographed into movement patterns accompanied by the drumming of specific rhythmic patterns. An ordered flow of rhythm and movement patterns in a whole performance are organized to tell a story. In the next section, I will show how the music and choreography of the Ezzi Si Jie Ling Gu is inspired by the different Jie Qi. Spring, Chun Tian. The commencement of spring. Li Chun marks the ending of the cold, slow and dull environment of winter. Li Chun brings about a new, fresh and warm atmosphere enhanced with light and hope. The cold air is replaced by the warm spring air from the east wind. The atmosphere is enlightened by a bright and sunny environment. The land is said to be reborn and revived. Farmers are happy to be able to start agricultural activities. Paddy seeds are sown in nurseries and paddy fields are prepared so that the new paddy seedlings can be transplanted to the paddy fields later. Farmers are very busy with agricultural activities such as ploughing, hoeing and smoothing the soil, uprooting the weeds and irrigating the fields. Dongnan Si Pei is a choreography of movements where the drummers make a full circle around the drum in an eight-step movement while drumming to a repeated rhythmic motif. It represents the changes that occur as winter transitions into spring. The second Jie Qi Yu Shui is characterized by short rainfalls brought by the east wind as it blows across the mountains. The melting snow provides the rivers and lowlands with sufficient water for irrigation. During this seasonal period, the farmers start tiling, hoeing and cultivating the soil. The land is then ploughed, leveled and irrigated to prepare for the planting of paddy and other crops. The farmers sweat and toil in the fields under the sun. The Ezzi Si Jie Ling Gu Ensemble exemplifies two phenomena observed during Yu Shui. These phenomena are hoeing the ground, Chu Di, and wiping sweat, Mo Han. Hoeing the ground, Chu Di. Chu Di is the activity of farmers loosening the soil with a hole. The 24 Jie Ling Gu Ensemble represents this act by striking the drum as if they were hoeing the ground.
Mohan represents the action of farmers wiping away sweat from their forehead as they work hard and toil under the hot sun. Spring equinox or Chunfen is the fourth Jie Qi. Chunfen occurs around the 21st of March and coincides with the time where the sun is at the top of our head at the equator line. During this day, the whole world will experience the same duration of day and night. Planting rice, Cha Yang. The 24th Yeling Gu imitate the action of planting rice by holding the drumstick vertically to represent the transplanting of rice seedlings. The drumstick is moved up and down vertically, mimicking the activity of the farmers as they plant the rice seedlings from the nursery into the field. Summer, Xia Tian. Summer, Xia. The weather gets warm and the heat rises during summer. By now, most of the crops that were planted have already grown. Wheat is ripe and harvested in the Huangho area. Fruits such as lychee, longan, mango, pineapple, and watermelon are abundant. When these fruits are ripe, they are picked and sold. Festivals such as the Dragon Boat Festival is celebrated with rowing boat competitions. Summer is also associated with heavy rains that bring major floods to the people of China, especially downstream of the Huangho River. Little Fullness, Xiao Man. During this period, the crops are almost fully grown and about to ripen. The 24 Jieling Gu Ensemble performed this phenomenon by dampening the drum skin with one hand and striking the drum with the drumstick from the other hand. They moved their hands from bottom to top and back. The dampening of the sound creates a staccato-like sound that moves from a low to high pitch. Imagine the sound of filling an empty bottle with grains. Summer solstice, Xia Ji. During the summer solstice, the tenth Jie Qi, China experiences the longest daylight period. The people participate in dragon boat competitions, a popular sport during this Jie Qi. This activity is held in order to stimulate the dragons to fight in the sky so that it would rain. This festival is also held to commemorate the Chinese officer known as Chu Yuan. Rowing the Dragon Boat, Hua Long Zhou. The choreography of Rowing the Dragon Boat is manifested in the performance of the Ersisir Jieling Gu through the swing of the player's hand from top left diagonal to the bottom right to mimic the act of rowing the boat.
Lesson He, Xiao Shu, is the 11th Jie Qi. During Lesson He, the people of China are encouraged to exercise to maintain good health. The heat of the summer is nearing its peak. Sickness and diseases are prominent problems occurring during this period. Some people in, engage in martial arts like wushu and kung fu in order to strengthen their body's defenses against illnesses. The eagle takes flight. Da peng zhan si. The eagle takes flight is one of the preparatory fighting positions in the art of wushu and kung fu. The movement mimics the opening of the eagle's wings as it prepares to take flight. Autumn, Chiu Tian. Commencement of Autumn, Li Chiu. During Li Chiu, the paddy planted in spring ripens and is ready for harvest. Farmers are working hard in the fields, joyously cutting stalks of paddy with a sickle. Cutting the paddy with a sickle, so ge. In so ge, the 24 Jie Ling Gu Ensemble mimics the movement of farmers harvesting their crops with a sickle. <laughs> Trashing, Da Gu. After harvesting, the stalks of paddy are taken to be trashed in a granary. During trashing, the grains from the paddy are separated from the stalks. The grains are then taken to be milled and winnowed before being stored. The 24 Jie Ling Gu Ensemble mimic the actions of farmers trashing stalks of paddies in the granaries. Drummers clap drumsticks close together and lift both hands high above their head before trashing it onto the drum. Winter, Dong Tian. Commencement of winter, Li Dong, is the 19th Jie Qi. Winter is a slow and quiet time. During this time, the people are less busy compared to the hectic activities carried out during spring, summer, and autumn. They have time to reminisce on their past and their doings, whether good or bad. They dwell on their thoughts about their loved ones, relatives and neighbours. They also offer blessings for a good harvest and pray for another good year to come. This is the time that offerings, prayers, invocations are offered to the gods and deities. It is a time of meditation and sacrifices to be made. One thousand hands of Guan Yin, the goddess of mercy, this choreography manifests the merciful hands of Guan Yin, who reaches out her hands to help those in need, those who have problems and are in a particular crisis.
Conclusion The 24th Yelinku Ensemble continues to thrive as an area of artistic development among the Chinese in Malaysia. In its pioneering years of establishment, the Chinese in Malaysia focused on imagining China to strengthen solidarity among the Chinese in Malaysia. Combining the concept of the 24 TAT from the Chinese agricultural calendar in China and the newly invented music and movements, the Chinese created a new drum ensemble. In the late 1990s and 2000s, the Chinese became more integrated into the local environment in Malaysia. Much of its music and choreography has evolved since it was founded. The new generation of Malaysian-born Chinese mingled freely with the other ethnic groups, embracing and absorbing influences from the multicultural, musical and performing arts environment, festivals and rituals, livelihood and lifestyle, and natural environment in Malaysia. The influences of the environment and surroundings, the multiracial society, education and media are being absorbed into the art as time goes by. These influences have been integrated into the music and movements of the Ersesi Jieling group. Some ensembles have included local Malay rhythms, including Joge, Inang, Masri and Zapin into their drumming patterns. Batik design costumes are also popular. Some of the developments are also due to the influences from other cultures, mainly from Japan, Taiwan and Korea, perhaps due to its closeness with the Chinese culture. The Ersi Si Jieling Gu has been renamed as the 24 festive drums to delimit its music and choreography to the phenomenon in China. This article recommends for further research into the evolution of the music and movement of the Ersi Si Jieling Gu created by the new generation of Chinese exposed to different social-political situation during the late 90s and early 2000s. All right, we have come to the end of this presentation. Thank you for listening, and I hope this has inspired you to perhaps join and play with the 24 festive drums in Malaysia. Till then, see you again. Xie xie, Tuo Nandri.